is Juno? Everything above us. Below is under Juno. Little more than an impoverished Christian village. <laughs> Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop for. It's their friggin' M.O. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. You can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. <gasps> half a million? Down here, though, we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lift sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. black robes around here somewhere so how are we gonna find them that would depend on where they are headed if they mean to continue west there are only two ways off this continent by sea or by air right might want to ask around town then locals will know routes not on the map may have even seen stragglers pass through or grab boats for reference something how about we meet at the inn when we're done sounds good and remember go for a run Brittle houses is have you emptied the oil? <laughs> but that's a good thing,
smoke seafood. You won't regret it. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Short of stealing the boat and causing a scene. Boat. We should have never let them build a reactor in our water. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <sighs> some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Somebody, please! Help! We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Please! Attention. On it. you out.
Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. We need to get her breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. <sighs> Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. <laughs> Got it. Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save their life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron! Don't, 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 don't. Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to be that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <laughs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry, promise. Later! I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Isn't the heroes of the... Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. 
It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone. Don't have the time, or I'll break it to her gentle. I could feel them slipping away, one by one. And the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn you, Whispers! Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud! Who's in there with you? was someone else. No, nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <clears throat> Feels like I have fish bones in my nose. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. <laughs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> the 
with my iron stomach? Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! <laughs> Wutai? Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out, Tell us more. Hmm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> Now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? Pain in the ass. Let's go. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. 
<laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> Some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuki said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you blue faith in a second we did that for you. The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it We're on the same side. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. It worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep, it should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone, but then... Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> <laughs> Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome. All right, then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go.
It's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't think on the way. been a huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and, uh, dog, I'll see you later. Let's move.
less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. 